Well, Taiwo, well played. How do you feel about that point? Very hard earned, wasn't it today? Yeah, I think uh, it's a hard game. And uh, uh, kudos to the coaching, uh, to the coaching staff, and of course uh, the whole team with the plan we came up with. And uh, for us to get the point at the end is something uh, obviously we're very happy about. And I think it might be the most important point for us. Who knows? Yeah, it could be crucial, couldn't it, at the end of the season? And uh, to to display the the kind of fight that you did after you'd gone two one down, because that was a shaky start to the second half, but to come back and get something out of it, kind of shows a lot about you as a team, I think. Yeah, uh, that's what I said earlier. I think uh, with the way the the manager and the staff, with the way they conduct the team and the togetherness, togetherness we had, I think uh, this game shows how how we unite we are. And obviously for you as a player, you just don't have to give up. You have to keep on giving everything, no matter the situation, if you're playing or not, if you're on the bench, if you're outside, who knows, in football, you just have to work hard and keep on believing. And uh, at the end, we get the point today, which is good. Tell us about, let's, let's talk about your goals in order, shall we? The, the first one is a lovely move and it's a great cross, but you've got plenty to do there. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I think it was a great ball from uh, Renon, to be honest, uh, because in training he gave me quite something like that and I didn't score. So he said to me, obvi obvi obviously in the game you have to score, and I said, okay. Then uh, also I have to say uh, the manager as well because uh, I had similar chance uh, against Brentford and uh, he sat me down and he discussed with me on what to do and obviously it works today and I think this is what makes the team, this is what makes you better when you have someone that, that gives you the chance to, to understand the game and what you need to do next in such situation and today it leads to a goal but it was a great ball from Werner. Um, and the second goal, I mean, that long throw from Musa is causing defences all sorts of problems. This time they sort of got it away and then Orel's put it back into the back post. Yeah, I think uh, that's uh, also part of the coaching job. Uh, they came up with the idea and uh, it's working for us. Uh, we had uh, many chances like this. And of course, it was something special for Musa. And also with Felipe, with uh, Waro, the way they came into the game and uh, in such situation and Orel as well. And for me as a striker, you just have to be ready for anything in the box. I noticed your first response was to have a quick glance over your shoulder to see if the linesman had got his flag up. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I was just uh, because I was just there looking at the situation of the of the goals, and obviously it counts, which I'm happy about. So you've got four goals in a week now with your two against Southampton as well. Uh, I mean, you laugh, but do do you feel as if? You now, as a as a player, are, are really getting going in this Premier League. You, you're kind of getting used to it and, and thriving on it. I think uh, for me, to be honest, uh, the injury is like a setback. I think uh, that was the moment I kind of feel like I'm getting going. But obviously, like I said earlier, as a football player, if you had an injury or you're not playing or you're on the bench, the only thing you can do is just to work hard. I think all the goals that are coming now is just uh, a way of showing how hard I've worked. And of course, for me, the most important thing is I believe in God also. And uh, I think he's always behind everything that I do. And But obviously, you just have to keep on believing, keep on working out. But the goals are not coming if, not, if my teammates are not bringing the boss. So it's kind of a collective idea, a collective work together. And uh, we're getting there and we just have two more finals to go. Yeah, two more finals, three points outside the relegation zone with those two games to go. The one thing you'd say is the spirit is terrific, isn't it, in, in your squad? Yeah, I think uh, for me it's something that is uh, good uh, with the way we, we set up as an individual, looking at the amount of players that we got and uh, how together we come up with it. But I think this is something the management and the coaches, everyone uh, set up, which is good for the team. And of course, I would say the spirit also something that keep it going is the fans. Because uh, for me today, to be honest, I kind of feel I'm in, this, I'm in the city ground. And for me, this is something dear to my heart with the way the, the energy they bring and everything they give to us. I just want to say thank you to them. And obviously, they keep on going for us. I will never let them down. Should be a great occasion next week, shouldn't it? Last game at the city ground, Arsenal coming. Yeah, of course. Now you just have to take the point from here and look forward to the next game. And uh, obviously, we'll have another plan for it and we'll keep going. Well done today. Thanks, Tyler.